So yesterday I started the concept of acceleration, uh, uniform acceleration. So we have this equations of motion. When a body is traveling with uniform acceleration, if a body is traveling with uniform acceleration, what are the three equations of motion? First one is uh, V is equal to U plus AT. final velocity and this is the initial velocity and this is the constant acceleration if the acceleration is constant then only we can write this actually acceleration is change in velocity by time now okay from that only we got this V is equal to U plus AT and what is the second one S equal to UT plus half AT square actually when a body is traveling with uniform acceleration uh, I can write uh, displacement as uh, average velocity into time average velocity into time this I write only when the body is moving with constant acceleration. So V badalu U plus AT we can write instead of V. So this uh, another U is there. Divided by 2 into T. So this you get it as UT plus half AT square. UT plus half AT square. And if in the problem time is given, acceleration is given, initial velocity is given, you can calculate the displacement now. So even you have to remember this average velocity, initial velocity, final velocity is given, time is given. Directly you take this next term. What is that? V square minus U square is equal to 2 AS. Huh? How we got this? This is V plus U into V minus U together. V plus U is nothing but 2S by T. 2S by T. And what is V minus U? V minus U is AT. So that implies this is the third thing. V square minus U square is equal to 2AS. Note this, this 3. First one is V is equal to U plus AT. Second one is this also you need to remember. Okay. Just note down this. Somebody asked a doubt yesterday in my WhatsApp, uh, but I could not uh, find time to do. Today I will keep the solution huh? uh, right uh, okay we shall unmute chest and run so right Doubt on time early, um, unmute just Kony. You can ask. Okay. So I can erase this, uh, and one more equation we need to remember that is the distance travelled in the nth second. Distance travelled in the nth second. This I am erasing, okay.
Even the derivation of this sir, equation. I can't see your video, sir. I mean that. Uh, now it is okay. Yes, sir. Mm, just stuck out in there. Right. Uh, next, uh, we have one more uh, equation which we need to remember. Distance traveled by the body in the nth second in nth second of uniform acceleration the body is uniformly accelerated what is meant by uniform acceleration? there are equal changes in velocities in equal intervals of time and a first 5 seconds the velocity is changed from 0 to 5 meters per second. But the 5 kilometer per hour rather. 5 kilometer per hour, okay. And in next 5 seconds, and total time is 10 seconds. So the change in velocity is again 5. So when there are equal changes in velocity in equal intervals of time, then the body is said to be moving with uniform acceleration. What is uniform velocity? Equal displacements it will cover in equal intervals of time. Velocity, uniform velocity. Equal displacements in equal intervals of time, okay. Uh, so a body is travelling with uniform acceleration. Equal changes in velocity with equal intervals of time, okay. And uh, this is the distance travelled in the n second. Distance travelled in n seconds minus distance travelled in n minus 1 seconds. And instead of t I am writing n minus 1 here. Half a t square. Instead of t what I said n minus 1. So if I subtract this, I will get this un plus half a n square minus un minus u plus half a n square plus half a minus a into n so this I will get okay this plus un and minus un will get cancelled the half a n square and uh, minus half a n square that will get cancelled Okay, I will expand this, okay. Ha, un plus half a n square minus un plus u minus half a n square minus half a plus a n. Okay. So opposite things are getting cancelled. Hmm? <laughs> and there is, in physics, uh, there is a concept called... Um, uh, antiparticle, antiparticle. So, antiparticle of electron is positron. Okay. Mm. For every particle, there will be an antiparticle. They get cancelled. When they meet, they will disappear in the, in the form of uh, a gamma ray photon. Okay. So, for every person, there will be an anti-person. When I give shake hand uh, to that anti-person, both of us will disappear. Huh? Okay. Ah, there is a theory. Theory is there. For every particle, there is an anti-particle. Mm. And uh, the an first anti-particle was discovered by Paul Anderson and uh, somewhere around 1930. That is uh, anti-particle of electron is positron, okay. So these two are getting cancelled. That's why I remembered particle and anti-particle. And these two are also cancelled and uh, the final answer is u plus a into n minus half. Note down this, this you have to remember as formula. 
distance travelled in the n second is different from distance travelled in n seconds because if a body is travelling uh, for 3 seconds with uniform acceleration 3 seconds first second it travels small distance because it's it is just gaining velocity and distance is increasing distance covered is increasing this is the first second 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 and this is the third second why distance covered uh, is increasing uh, with uh, with the same time interval because the body is gaining velocity na accelerating so distance covered in the third second is different from distance covered in 3 seconds this is the total distance covered in 3 seconds and distance covered in the third second means this only you are understanding the difference what is that difference distance travelled in n seconds is different from distance travelled in the nth second okay what is this what is the formula for distance travelled in the nth second okay note down this i will write like this distance travelled in 3 uh, seconds is not equal to distance in distance travelled in 3 second okay i can write it like this some problems based on this concept and after doing this uh, we can go for motion under gravity gravity symbol is there gravity mm. okay some this external space movie are there hmm? so i just analyzing this um, then uh, after this we can go for uh, motion under gravity okay what is the final answer u plus a into n minus half distance traveled in the nth second distance traveled in n seconds and a u n plus half a n square distance traveled in the nth second means u into u plus a into n minus half Okay. So there is an example problem from your integrated book. We'll do that. So example problem is like this. There is a car, whatever be it, huh? and the car, whatever be it means it can be. Maruti 800, or it can be what are the higher end cars? Uh, what is this symbol? Benza. Uh, okay. Whatever it is, whatever the car you have, uh, or anybody have, the car is uh, accelerating initially with uh, an acceleration alpha. and it attained a maximum speed vm and from that it is now decelerating what is deceleration negative acceleration now the acceleration is opposite to direction of velocity so velocity will decrease when uh, a decelerating force is acting so this entire uh, phenomena uh, uh, took place in t time Okay, what is the maximum speed? Vm we have to calculate in terms of this. Okay, I'll write out the question. A car initially accelerates with alpha acceleration. Uh, and attains a maximum speed. 
and attains maximum speed Vm and then decelerates decelerates uniformly uniformly at the rate beta beta okay if uh, t is the entire time of journey entire time of journey what is v maximum what is v maximum what is the maximum speed attained by the vehicle first you have to write it like this v maximum is equal to u plus started from rest initially car started from rest car at rest initially car at rest the initial speed is zero here i will write and finally came to rest and finally is at rest and the initial and final speed of the journey is zero okay v equal to u plus a t let the initial time is t1 what is the initial time vm by alpha and uh, again i will apply the same equation 0 is equal to vm minus beta into t2 so t2 will be equal to vm by beta so if i add these two times i will get t this is the total time total time is nothing but vm into 1 plus alpha plus 1 by 1 by beta so the answer is uh, v maximum is alpha beta by alpha plus beta into t note down this ok first i calculated the initial time First, we accelerate the vehicle in T1 time, and then we accelerate the vehicle in T1 time. Up to what time we decelerated, let it that the time be D2. And ultimately, the vehicle has come to rest. The vehicle has come to rest. Uh, and uh, the body, in, uh, the final velocity of the initial journey is the initial velocity of the second journey final velocity of the first journey first journey means acceleration second journey is deceleration break we are applying brakes ok uh, and uh, final velocity of the first journey becomes the initial velocity of the second journey what is the final velocity of the second journey zero it is coming to rest na? finally it is at rest ok and uh, deceleration means minus you have to keep minus beta ok so there the time taken is uh, vm by vm by beta you got ok and total time is given total time is given as t if i add these two i will get t that i will write as vm into 1 by alpha after taking lcm what is the lcm here alpha beta is the lcm alpha plus beta that if you take the other side alpha beta will come up and alpha plus beta will go down note down this Hmm. Also, we have to calculate um, the total distance traveled. So in that example, one more question is also asked, total distance travelled. First you note down this. Okay. Distance cover and what formula we have to apply distance if you want distance? V square minus U square is equal to 2AS, no? Time, we want time now, that's why I have taken V is equal to U plus AT. Now I want uh, 
stance. I just erase this. So the what is maximum velocity? Second question is what is the distance traveled? So just remember this Vm. What is Vm? Maximum speed attained. Okay. Second question is what is total distance traveled by the vehicle? So V square minus U square is equal to 2 alpha S1. S1 is nothing but Vm square by 2 alpha. Similarly, S2 what you will get? Vm square by 2 beta. Already we found Vm. Total distance is S1 plus S2 only. Na? This is the distance travelled during deceleration. And this is the distance travelled during acceleration. So total distance is, uh, I have to combine these two. The Vm square I will take common. By 2 also I will take common. What is this alpha plus beta? Okay. So you substitute that here. S is equal to. Uh, you are able to see this. Uh, 1 by 2 into. Light up, light up sketches. 1 by 2 into. Alpha square, beta square. Divided by alpha plus beta whole square into alpha plus beta by alpha beta ok right what is cancelled here alpha beta is cancelled what about t t is also there na? t is also there here vm square and t square so here you will get t square so that is the final answer. What is the final answer? Half into alpha beta by alpha plus beta into t square. That is the final answer. Just note down. Okay, is this over? So two questions are asked. This, this is the second question. What is the total distance travelled? Distance, if you want, what formula we have to remember? This, there is one more formula. S is equal to ut plus half a t square. Okay. Uh, I have applied this v square minus u square is equal to as and this is the initial distance travelled during acceleration and this is the distance travelled during deceleration. We already know what is this vm. Vm is the maximum speed attained. Already we calculated the maximum speed attained. Alpha beta by alpha plus beta into t. Okay. So there is this simple questions we will do now. Is this complicated? This is not complicated, na? No? Uh, we'll do some simple questions uh, and then again go into some complicated. Again simple. We will balance it. Mm? Uh, from your objective material, we will do few questions. Right. Mm. Ok. 
So one question, easy question. The reaction time for an automobile driver is 0.7 seconds. So let us take it as an example. Reaction time of an automobile driver. Automobile driver is 0.7 seconds. What is this reaction time? The reaction time is the time taken between uh, seeing a signal and uh, applying the brakes. Okay, when we see a signal, red signal we are having, we are applying the brake. And there is a small time gap between seeing the signal and applying the brakes. That time is called reaction time. Okay. And you can find the reaction time of you and of others. Okay, you should have a scale uh, and uh, you ask your friend to hold the pen immediately after you left after you left the pen. Okay, and me uh, scale as well. You have to take a scale and uh, see that, and your friend should hold that scale immediately after you leave the scale. Okay, you see how much down the scale has gone. How much down. And then you take S equal to half GD square. 9.8, G is 9.8. Then you can find the reaction time of that person. This How much down the scale has gone you have to see. Before the second person catches it. First person has to leave the scale and second person has to catch. And it will go down by s equal to half gd square distance. You can calculate, you can see the scale reading, how much down it has gone. So, just find the reaction time of uh, uh, of your parents or anybody else. So, record it. So, physics should be practical, okay? It should not be by hearted and all. So, record it, record it in your book. Okay, reaction time you can find. Hmm? Uh, so you understood what is reaction time, okay? So what I said, you take a scale and you hold the scale and second person, when you leave the scale, second person should catch the scale. Okay, you see the how much it has gone down. Scale by reading, by seeing the scale reading. And that you write it as half gd square. Then you can calculate t. t is the reaction time, okay? So accidents will happen because some some for, for some per persons this reaction time will be more he may be thinking something else and driving huh? everyone everyone of us will be thinking something hmm? so because if the reaction times becomes more and more uh, so we don't know whether we are applying brakes or not huh? okay. If the automobile or if the person uh, has had uh, had some drink, what <laughs> um, our state government is giving uh, that drink, <laughs> then this reaction time will increase. Then they will collide other vehicles, go and uh, collide other vehicles. Hmm? The reaction time, okay, this is the question. The reaction time of an automobile. Uh, driver is 0 0.7 seconds. If the automobile can be decelerated at 5 meter per second square. If the automobile can be decelerated at 5 meter per second square. Calculate the total distance travelled before, uh, before coming to stop. Calculate the total distance covered. Distance covered by the vehicle. Before it comes to stop. It stops. Its initial speed is 8.33 meters per second. Initial speed of the automobile is this. Okay. So... 
this one is the distance travelled with constant velocity. Okay. And S2 is the distance travelled with the deceleration. Deceleration means uh, V square minus U square by 2 into minus, uh, minus A. Minus A means minus 5. So I have to add these two distances. S is equal to S1 plus S2. And that is uh, 21, 2, 23, 2, 56 plus 2, 58, 5.831 meters, okay, plus this distance, this is 10, huh? 8.33 into 8.33 divided by 10, hmm, minus and minus will get cancelled, okay. So can you do the calculation of this? This will be in meters. I will tell you the answer. And first uh, 0.7 seconds, he has not applied the brakes. That means it is moving with uniform speed. 8.33 meters per second. And then he applied the brakes. So this is the distance travelled when the body is travelling with uniform speed u into t and velocity into time only na? distance travelled here this is with uniform speed and this is with deceleration distance travelled with deceleration and ultimately the vehicle stopped stopped means final velocity is 0 this is the initial velocity divided by 2 into a a is minus 5 I have written because it is deceleration na? this is deceleration ok I have to add these two distances I will tell you the answer answer is uh, Okay, third question, uh, 5.81 plus, how much that is, so these are the options 12.77, these are the options 12.77 meters and 14.82 uh, meters, you have to go for the nearest option 16.83 and 19.65. So I think 12.77 is correct, na? This is uh, 8.33 into 0 0.8 Because 8 by 10 is 0 0.8, na? So that will be less than 8 Or less than some 7 So if you add with this, you will get this 12.77 So you have to go for the nearest option, okay? No need of exact calculation For some problems because the options are different, na? If the answers are options are very nearer, then you have to do calculation part. Okay, note down this. This is my distance end. In the reaction time, the distance travelled is this much. He has not applied the brakes. With this velocity, it is moving vehicle. Velocity into time. After the brakes are applied, then distance travelled is this. I have to add these two distances. Hmm? Signal, traffic signal, choose After seeing the signal, something goes into our mind, na? Uh, and that mind will send the signals to our um, legs to apply the brake. Hmm? For some scooties, here only you will be having the brakes. Huh? So it will that mind will send the signal to our hand to apply the brakes. That time is 0 0.7 seconds. That is called reaction time. Okay, then the vehicle will be traveling with uniform speed and the vehicle speed now it will decrease after applying the brakes. So total distance traveled means this distance also we have to add. Distance traveled in reaction time plus distance traveled during deceleration. Note down this. Hmm. <laughs> So, whenever we, you go on the road, uh, don't, um, we need not see that wall, wall posters and all. Uh, our, um, what is it, our inner thing. Okay. Uh, so, the reaction time will increase, accidents may occur, okay. Right. Uh, 
This I will erase. Is this easy question only? Is this the easy question? Yes. Next we will do a little tougher question and then easy question like that. We will shuffle. Easy and tough, easy and tough. Okay. So now you understood what is this reaction time of the automobile. Okay. Next, next question we'll have. So, an express train. I will not go immediately into integration and differentiation problems. Okay, tomorrow we will do that uh, integration differentiation problems. If uh, acceleration is not uniform, you cannot take these formulas v square minus u square is equal to a s and all. Okay, v is equal to u plus a. All this you have to take only when the acceleration is constant. Otherwise, you, we have to go for integration and differentiation. Tomorrow we will see those problems. An express train moving with a speed 30 meters per second. So next example, maybe the fourth or fifth example today. Uh, so train is moving with uh, so an express train. Okay, this maybe it is having some wagons. I am not drawing the compartments. Okay. Uh, I think my engine is good. Huh? This is moving with uh, 30 meters per second. It reduces its speed to 10 meters per second after traveling 240 meters. You have to draw the diagram after reading the question. Here diagram is not given, I am drawing the diagram, okay? 240 meters per second, its speed is reduced to 10 meters per second. Okay. If the braking force is increased 12.5 percent, if braking force is applied is increased 12.5 by 12.5 percent is increased by 12.5 percent, find the distance that it travels before it comes to rest. Find the distance it and a train. Uh, find the distance it travels uh, before it comes to rest. Before it comes to rest. This is internet language and before okay. Before it comes to rest. Okay. Uh, Right. First, what is the deceleration here? What is the deceleration? Solution I am doing here. Deceleration is V square minus U square by 2S. Because S is given. If time is given, I have, I have taken V minus U by T as A. So suddenly you will get minus because it is deceleration. You will get minus here, na? Okay. How much is this? This is 800. Minus 800 divided by 2 into 240. 8 tenths, 8 threes. Minus 5 by 3. What are the units for uh, this? Meter per second square, okay? Now the force... Break and get it, okay? Mein? Now... Uh, train driver he has applied uh, brakes with more force and he has increased the braking force braking force if it is increased acceleration also deceleration also is increased now the new deceleration is 112.5 by 100 into 5 by 3 
12.5% increase means you have to write it like this. 12.10% increase means you have to write it like this. 110 by 100 into A. 10% decreased means how you will write? 90 by 100 into A. You will write like this. Now what percentage is increased? 12.5% is increased. I, I, I can write it like this. New deceleration. New deceleration is this. Okay, up to here you understood, na? So, what I have to calculate? V square minus, again we will take the same formula. V square minus U square is equal to 2A. V square minus U square. U square means 30 square. is equal to 2a a means minus 112.5 divided by 100 into 5 by 3 into s okay if you calculate this s you will get this as 240 meters that is the answer okay on both the sides minus will get cancelled Note down this. And I, here the question is asked like this. Mm, if the braking force is increased by 12.5% in the beginning. So here he applied uh, extra force. Now, what is the distance travelled before it comes to rest? Before it comes to rest. And what is the final speed? Final speed is... Uh, final speed is zero, na? Okay. One minute. Final speed is zero, na? So, zero square minus 30 square is equal to 2 AS. A is now not minus 5 by 3. It is 12.5% more. 12.5% equivalent to How you write? 112.5 by 100 you write. 10% less means how you will write? 90 by 100 into 5 by 3. 5% less means 95 by 100 into 5 by 3. Like that you can write. Okay. Uh, so, if you calculate this you will get the answer as 240 meters. So, initially the braking force is, in, 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 in. first now this is 30 meters to 10 meters per second, distance travel is 240 meters. Now the braking force is increased, 12.5%. So this velocity should become zero, after what distance, traveling what distance. So final speed should be zero, no? initial speed is 30, as we have to calculate. But now acceleration is not minus 5 by 3, it is little more. Force is increased means acceleration also will increase, na? Okay, acceleration is force by mass that we will be learning later. Okay, note down this. increased by 12.5 increased by 10 percent now you understood that okay increased by 10 percent means how you have to write 110 by 100 into a increased by 50 percent means 150 by 100 into a increased by 100 percent means 100 plus 100 is how much 200 by 100 into a a has become now 2a Somebody will say that my business got increased 200%. 200%. Double. A, A, now, now it, it is now A, profit is A, now it is 2A. Increased by 200% at 300 by 100 into A. Like this you have to write, okay? So 
So this I am erasing. Mm, very good. Huh? Tomorrow we will do that differentiation integration problems. Another problem like this kind of problem we will do. Okay. I think you are, you are having many problems in practice sheets. This is from my lecture sheet, okay? Just I will erase this. Okay. Next. Uh, so integer type question is there here. Integer type question. So a car starts from rest. example for today maybe sixth or fifth example uh, a car starts from rest uh, and accelerates with uh, six meters per second square acceleration is six meters per second x started from rest means initial speed is zero okay which decreases linearly with time which decreases, this is an integration problem, don't worry, hmm? which decreases uh, linearly with time, linearly with time, in 10 seconds, in 10 seconds, okay, after which the car continues with uh, constant speed, after which car continues with constant speed right continues with constant speed the time required for the car to travel 400 meters the time required for the car to travel 400 meters from the start from the start is physics problems is only lengthy na? chemistry and all one line one line question huh? uh, is 16.67 uh, into t seconds seconds from the start is time required what is the value of t find t answer one second one t is equal to one okay then let us find out this uh, that means we'll, we have to get the answer as 16.67 seconds so a is equal to u plus uh, u minus 10 seconds it decreases linearly in uh, 10 seconds and acceleration okay some constant into t you write constant into t this is a linear equation a straight line equation now this is so this is straight line equation only y is equal to mx plus c okay Acceleration became zero after 10 seconds. 10 seconds it is traveling with constant speed means acceleration has become zero. Zero is equal to six minus this is the initial acceleration. Put t is equal to zero, you are getting a is equal to six now. So now this is k into 10 and k value will be equal to six by 10. Six by 10 is nothing but three by five. Now I have the equation as a is equal to 6 minus k value I know k value is 3 by 5 into t okay 
and at, at 10 second the acceleration is zero because the car is moving with uni, uh, uniform speed uniform speed means acceleration is zero okay now he is asking uh, distance traveled with constant speed distance traveled is 400 meters and he is asking uh, time taken What is this dv by dt? I can write acceleration as dv by dt. What is this 0 0.6? Huh? So this dt I will take the other side. dv is equal to 6 minus 0 0.6 into t into dt. And both the sides I have to integrate. And here the lower limit I will take it as 0. Because uh, initial velocity is 0. Initial velocity is 0, final velocity let it be V and limits for time are 0 to T. So this integral 1 dV is V. Integral 1 dV is V, lower limit is 0, upper limit is V. Integral 6 dD is 60. So minus 0 0.6 into what is integral T dT T square by 2. Okay, this is uh, 0 to t. Okay, here I will write first upper limit you have to substitute then lower limit. So first upper limit here I will write, okay. So here v minus 0 is equal to 6 into first upper limit then lower t minus 0 is t only. Next, uh, 0 0.6 by 2 is 0 point, uh, 0 0.3. 0 0.3 into t square. Okay. t square minus 0 square is t square only. No? So, we got uh, an equation for velocity in terms of time. Velocity in terms of time. V I can write as ds by dt. dt I will take the other side. 60 minus 0 0.3 into t square into dt. So now I will do an again integration on both the sides. Mm. First you note down up to this, up to finding the velocity. Velocity in terms of time I have found out. I will erase the top part. So initially the car started from rest and then lower limit you have to take 0 and let after time t let the speed is v let the speed is v so upper limit is t here the upper limit is v okay so we have an equation for uh, between time and velocity okay so this I will erase I think your time is also finished one minute just wait huh? This finished, almost finished. I can write V as ds by dt. ds by dt is 60 minus 0 0.3 t square. And ds is nothing but 60 minus 0 0.3 t square into dt. So on uh, both the sides you have to integrate. And 0 to 400 meters now. What it traveled 400 meters. I have to find time. So this I will get as 60 square by 2. Integral t dt is t square by 2 only. Na? Minus 0 0.3 t cube by 3 is equal to 400. Eh? You have to solve this equation. Okay. And then you will find that answer as 16.67. Note down this.
can take t square common now. Cannot take. Um, this is not a quadratic equation. Cube term is also there. Okay, just put 16.67 because the option uh, answer answer is integer type, na? Integer type. I uh, maybe it is one, two, three, or up to nine. Answer cannot be zero. So first 16.67 you substitute and check whether you are getting a 1400 or not. 400 you are getting 400 or not. Okay. This goes three times now. This goes ten times. Okay, just verify this option, right? Over, na? So first of all, you have to write this equation, and then only we can integrate. First, find the velocity in terms of time, and then displacement in in terms of time. Time we have to find. Final displacement, you know, 400 meters. So upper limit, you have to take 400. Okay. So, okay, you can leave after noting down this. Mm, okay. Bye, everybody. Take care. Do some homework problems from practice sheet that are mentioned in that sheet. Na? Some day by day homework is given. You cannot do all the 20 or 25 problems given. You do at least 10 problems. That is enough for me. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. So you will get this answer, 16.67 uh, substitute chain also, hmm? right. So, so what is that? Okay, bye.